I did a video about Indigenous Peoples Day and how it was a fraud, basically, to turn Indigenous and Hispanic people against white people and vice versa. This video is going to be similar, but about Women's Day. Now, what's funny is a lot of people think Women's Day is this wonderful thing to celebrate women. If you look at the women that are celebrated, aside from the scientists and the mathematicians and the women and the more um, realistic celebrations of women, uh, it is mostly a means to promote feminism. And by feminism, I certainly don't mean femininity. If feminism had to do with promoting femininity, I'd be all for it. Women's Day, like Indigenous Peoples Day, which is used to turn, um, primarily it's used as propaganda to turn Indigenous people and Hispanic people against white people and vice versa. Women's Day is used to encourage women to act masculine and to basically uh, act as though they don't need men. Now, why is this a problem? Well, because for civilization to work properly, and I've done videos about this too, um, there's a balance of the two polarities, the masculine and the feminine polarities. You can't cut one from the other. That's the problem. Uh, even a powerful woman, usually you'll find them with a man, okay? And the reason why is because you can't get away from the balancing of the polarities of masculine and feminine. Uh, this is very important to understand because things like Women's Day and uh, the Woman's March and all these so-called ways to empower women, women have been empowered since the beginning of human civilization because women naturally have the power to make children, uh, they control the home, and when women go into the workforce, by choice, they should not be forced into the workforce, but when women go into the workforce by choice, they are choosing to work in the workforce. One of the funny things I saw was, um, okay, STEM. Now, I love girls that do STEM because I like girls that are smart, okay? But listen to this. This is what's so funny. A lot of people that promote women in STEM were deriding the fact that a lot of women that enter into the STEM field uh, usually end up in teaching positions. Well, this is what's funny about that. Without teachers, there is no STEM. Without high school level teachers and college level teachers, there would be no people in STEM. It just so happens that perhaps a teaching position is more suited to a woman than say, oh, I don't know, an engineer or a construction worker or a laboratory, uh, head of a laboratory or things of this nature, which also isn't true because I know people that work in labs that are women. My point is, is that the, the whole goal of this uh, push to empower women is not to empower women. It's to turn women into men and to turn them against men. It, it's, it's really just another way of sowing discord.